So what were you going to do with the coil? Uh, take that coil stuff off and just get some uh, uh, copper and wrap it around? Create a new form? Yeah, I was looking at hamsticks today, and uh, uh, how they make them, design them. Uh, I'm going to be moving, I'm going to have to move the system out of the truck and into the car. I was looking at Comet makes this huge, this big trunk lip mount, right? And, uh, and... I thought, well, what if I took, what if I just took the 102 inch, 102 inch whip and stuck it in the top of a coil, uh, build a new coil, like a small coil, you know, uh, small diameter, thinner gauge wire, um, maybe on like a one inch piece of PVC, you know, uh, something that'll get me to uh, uh, 40 meters. I'm not real concerned about 75, 80. And I was kind of trying to figure out, okay, how could I mount something to that trunk lip mount? Uh, it's a beast. It's designed to take like a 80 something inch whip, like an HF, like a hamstick type thing, which I thought, huh, I could probably reinforce it, uh, but I don't want the wind load there with a big, huge, like two inch diameter coil. So what if I took a smaller coil and stuck the 102 inch whip on top of that, you know. Um, I'm just, uh, just thinking, trying to figure out how could I do this uh, and make it so it's uh, somewhat solid, you know. I get, I, what I do is I put, uh, I guy it off inside the trunk, uh, one to the front lip and then one on the back to keep it from uh, going back and forth. Uh, it ain't gonna move side to side. Um, not with that mount on there. So it's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, build up a smaller diameter coil, hopefully with enough inductance. Might even be able to squeak into the upper end of 75, but I, I kind of, depending on how big I make it, um, it looked kind of like a tar heel, you know what I mean? Uh, about the same diameter as a tar heel. The thing to do is, is get like a two or three inch coil form. Or if you get some of the black sewer pipe, it's not as rugged, but if you put a dowel support through the middle or something, both a PVC tube to go through and support it, and then slid it around, you know, you have the solid support, but still the larger diameter. So, uh, you know, one inch tubing, I don't think you get enough of a coil, uh, you know, but if you ran like, say, six feet of one inch PVC tubing, and kept your windings about three sixteenths to a quarter inch apart, wrapped, you know, let's say for 40 meters, uh, take the 100 switch whip, you could mount it to the top, you know, say we take uh, 